What's up guys? My name is John Karim over at JTAC Institute. Uh, today we'll be doing a little bit of the tire service on this uh, 2004 Freightliner Columbia model. Uh, first of all, what you're going to want to do is look at this tire for any defects. You're going to be looking at cuts, gouges, holes, anything like that. Um, this particular tire has some inner edge wear. It's got some cuts and uh, feathering on this tire, breaking apart. Um, so this would need to be replaced automatically. Um, but we will take some tread ups to do it. The inside tread up is 13, 30 seconds. And the outside is 13, 30 seconds as well. So this is good as per DOT. The law on the steer tires from the for DOT is 430 seconds. Anything less than that needs to be replaced no matter what. Uh, second, we're going to do the torques on the lug bolts. These need to be torqued at 500 foot pounds. Um, today we have, we're using an extension. So if you have to use an extension over 6 inches, you must compensate and add 5 foot pounds of torque. Let's take a couple of these, make sure they're good. That's good, you just want to listen for that clip. That one's good, let's get down here. And that's good. Next we'll be checking the tire pressures, okay? Uh, make sure you always, when you're checking your tire pressures, that you keep the valve caps. These are a $50 fine per wheel that is missing. You're gonna to wanna to take three measurements of the PSI. We have a 92, 92 again, and 92, 92 PSI. These have to be at 100 PSI. All the tires on this truck need to be at 100 PSI. So this would need some air in. Next we're gonna move to the rear of the truck. These have to be, DOT law is nothing less than 230 seconds. If it's less than 230 seconds, they need to be replaced. Also, on Google tires, the difference, this has to be within 230 seconds of each other in an outer tire. Uh, we will take tread depth on these to see if they are in spec. We have 10-30 uh, seconds on this. 9-30 seconds on this one to this inner tire, we have 6.30 seconds and 7.30 seconds. So this tire would need to be replaced to do that 2.30 seconds different. Um, also, these torque, these lug nuts have to be at 500 foot-pounds as well. And again, all the tires have to be at 100 PSI. And remember to keep your valve stems. That's it.